Donna? I'd like to motion to reduce the legal services line. Can you give me the line? I, 390. It's 390, like legal services, yes. yes. I'd like to motion to reduce it by $20,000. Can I get a second? I'll second. Discussion? Thank <clears throat> you. I'd like to address the reason for sure. this. Sure, go ahead. Why you? Thank you. Um, this was budgeted at $1,500 in 1617. Yes, we in see that in 1617. Okay, so in one year it went from $1,500 to $40,000. And in the next year there's another 40,000. Now, um, there was a Supreme Court challenge Th that the year uh, of 1718, um, there was a Supreme Court challenge. This uh, two maybe, no one the previous year and one the next year I think. So um, both of those were done without a vote of the board, without stay without the authorization of the board. And it seems to me if we give uh, if we give too much money to the legal services, it only encourages litigation. Okay, thank you. Anybody else want to make a comment? Yes, Caitlin. Um, I would be in favor of keeping this number as it is because I think looking at the last few years, it's important for the SAU to protect, to have that legal protection, both for opinions um, and court cases as they come up. So I suggest keeping it where it is. Thank you for your opinion. Yes, Kathleen and then Brian, I'm sorry. I also noticed that the 2016-17 uh, legal budget was 1,500. However, the actual was $16,396. And at the time when this board last year was in this budgeting process and decided to increase this legal line to $40,000, uh, we had already had knowledge of some lawsuits that were in the works. Um, I agree that this 40000 needs to stay there. Uh, the superintendent is acting in accordance with policy, as the board has approved, to uh, leverage that line as needed. Thank you. Kathleen, go ahead. Okay. Um, well, I look at, so there was actually court cases, which don't happen every day. You had court cases, and you actually spent 16396 And I look in the budget almost three times that. Right. So right now we have, have 40000 That seems that very high to me. So if you have $20,000, that's more money than you actually spent to go to New Hampshire Supreme Court. Can I clarify for you? Um, so the 2016-17 uh, created a a shortfall, if you will, for that legal line services. Uh, when This time last year, when we were doing this budget, uh, we're currently in the 2017-18 budget year, so we don't have the actuals for the 17-18 budget year, but as we were doing the budget, we had knowledge of uh, the need for an increase in that line. Uh, we are budgeting out for 18-19 now. Um, I don't see that that need is going away. Okay. Well, you're halfway through the year. Yep, so and we don't have actuals. We've spent yes, we far do. more than right. that money that we spent. Right. Sixteen, seventeen. We've already right. So that was that. that's what that was going to be my question. question. Um, what the actuals were. The about. actuals. Oh, I mean, an estimated date. actuals for right right now in this seventeen eighteen year are we're going to come pretty close to forty or go over forty? It, it all depends. You yeah. know, I mean, I, as if it continues, uh, legal opinions and and the different things. You know defending us you know it's not us forcing litigation it's other people that do it and so we have to defend the SAU and the districts and so um, that number is obviously uh, that 40 is that's the right number yeah. I, I, I'll tell you from you know because of being in this position now um, it isn't just going to court it's every time we seek which we should make sure we get the best advice that's not free and it adds up in a month, in two months, in six months. It has added up. I'm not and saying and it's going to exceed 40 Yes, you didn't initiate any litigation. I understand. Um, Jason and then Kim. Yeah, um, yeah Madam Chair, I, I'm, glad that, I'm glad you brought it up because it's not 
it's not solely a function of of a court case going to the Supreme Court. And so I'm glad you, you reminded us that it's also a function of legal opinions that we get, as well as other uh, other actions that are not in the courts. So for example, actions at the Board of Education, at the State Board of Education, uh, where we have representation to, to defend the, the board. So not everything is, and, and not every case makes it to the Supreme Court as well. So we, we shouldn't use the Supreme Court as the as the metric. Uh, though I understand that, you know, th that when it goes up to that level, that it, that's indicative of how long the case has gone on, and, and so it is a it is a measure, but it shouldn't be the only measure. Uh, I, I'm always leery about um, y you know uh, handcuffing us from a position, and I think it's worth it bears reminding. We discussed this during the budget session. Each time, we're really talking about two years from now. This is going to cover us into 2019s, 2017. So we're talking about two years from now. We don't know, you know, what le we can't. None of us can predict what legal entanglements that that might be occurring two years from now. We we can judge based on current, you know, based on history and so forth. Uh, and nor does this board have the authority or have the ability to say to someone, "Please don't file a lawsuit against us because we've already spent everything we budgeted for in this line." I'm, I would much rather see us have a surplus that can be returned in the line than have put us in a position where we're trying to find the money to defend ourselves against someone who. You know, doesn't look at it from the person. Oh, you over, you spent that line. You know what? I'll wait a year before I file my suit. Kim, you were next. <laughs> What's the actual spend to date on the legal line for this current fiscal year that started July one? We have at least four months. We, we should have, have an actual. We don't, we don't have we, the bills for. We have no bills for the last four months. Some. I don't have that some. number in front of me. We have some um, outstanding billing. We get it built monthly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so um, it's considerable. It's, it's a lot more than what's on there on the spend from last year, I can tell you that. But we, we don't have an actual number. I just said I don't have the number. Okay, in okay. I'm just, a, well, I mean, I'm I don't sorry, have, I'm sorry. You I'm asked just, twice, I don't have it the first I'm sorry, time. I'm sorry, I'm just, right, I'm, right, right, I apologize. Right. I'm used to having those numbers. I am concerned that 20, 000, cutting it by 20,000 is going to be way, going to be disastrous. Um, I'd rather have a little more than not enough there because we came off of, we spent way over it. In 16, 17. Now, the other comments or concerns before I call for a vote, Brian, and then Donna. Brian, you may say something. I'm just trying to make sure that to, to follow up on Kim's point. You are very. I made my my second there based on last year's sixteen thousand three ninety six. You are very confident that that we're going to be well over that. Well, we're going to be our actuals for this fiscal year mm -hmm. will be well over that sixteen five, you know, and over twenty, maybe twenty five thousand. That's what you're thinking. Am I confident about that? Absolutely. Okay, that's that's okay. That's that's, that's what I want to. Thank you, Brian. Donna. So what I want to point out to the board is that the board has never taken a vote to spend any of this legal line. This is all done. This is all expenditures done without approval of the board. There's no, there's no question of defending. What there is is a question of stepping aside, letting it go, settling, or just behaving better. I mean, those are the options. Behaving better. But Yes, those are the options. Let's discuss the numbers. We're going to discuss the numbers. I'm going to we ask you both all to stop, Behaving better. and let's come back to this amendment on the floor, please. I think we've all made our point. I think everybody in the room knows where everybody stands. So I'm going to call for a vote. All in favor, then, of cutting the legal line, or reducing, excuse me, the legal line, which is 390, is that correct? Legal mm -hmm. services from 40000 by $20,000. Raise your hand for aye. One. Opposed? I believe that's 11 of us. Mm -hmm. So now the line is still at 40,000. Any other amendments, discussions? Um, the bottom line hasn't changed now. It's still 2,172,471. We have carved a little away from there. So 